We are all literally, I'm not even joking, is this street right here in front of the park thinking of fake European techno DJ names, like on our backs in the street. And I was like, Club on Shoke. And all the girls were like, ah, ah, ah. Welcome to Stroke Show, my name is Claude Von Stroke. What's happening? What's up, bud? This week on the show, we have Darren Delgado in the house. He runs Dirty Bird Records, if you don't know what that is. That is a record label <laughs> that I'm on, that I own. <laughs> Sometimes. What do you do again? Um, I basically wake up to see what kind of text message I have to uh, sign a record or book an artist and then I do that. Are you saying that I send you the text message? Yes, you've woken up my daughter and my wife multiple times from a club at 3 in the morning. Why do you have your phone <laughs> set to make noise? Don't you have the little do not disturb function? But also I do know that that's when a record is really, really good. Yeah. When I actually get the, the text message from the club, right. sometimes actually in the middle of the set while it's playing. Yeah, while it's playing. I was like the rest of the DJ. Q-tip. What's happening? I took him out for a walk and he took three shits this morning. And I only had three bags. <laughs> Like, what if you had taken four Do you want me to sign your poster? Since I yeah, okay. please. Q-tip is on my thing. He does love you. He's just confused at what the hell you're doing. Okay. Are you keeping it or am I keeping you're it? You're definitely keeping it. You're going to okay. hang it up. I got it. Thanks for everything. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be something one day. Whoa. Is this how people's checks get signed that from is, our record label? That's exactly it. I work here, but don't work here. He works in San Francisco, I the do. original home of Dirty Bird Records. Someone has to keep the San Francisco dream alive. Yeah. I met you when you were hunched over in the back of that record store. Our office was in the back of Tweakin Records at the time, which right. was uh, now Vinyl Dreams. Which is where we bought all our first vinyls back when you had to play vinyl records when DJing was real. That's where everybody hung out and like... It was the spot. Yeah. And they take records. And we had Stompy back here. Okay, we did all of this. We had this hand painted, this, this design right here, like 12 years ago. And we built, and we actually built a DJ booth because we're like, we always do a digital download store, but everyone wanted to like come and listen to records. Back here behind these doors was our office. Trying to uh, make a million dollars out of a dollar ninety nine. Spent a lot of time in this place, man. That's back when like the guy behind the record store counter like, was a thing. Was, yeah, and he could pull records for you if you were cool. Oh no, you know what? I don't think I'm selling it this week. Maybe next oh, week. Oh no, you said that last week. And then he would give you a dirty look if you even asked him about it. Right. Said, you. I don't have that record. I don't have that record, even though there's a stack right all behind right. it. All right, here we are. This place used to be called The Top. This is where all of us pretty much started out DJing. Justin Martin, Worthy, Christian Martin, and me. You would come to play your like big gig downtown, and then on Sundays, if you just happen to stay over an extra day, you'd show up at The Top and play your surprise set. If this place was going off, it was Awesome. What are you do? What are you doing? Yeah, we've got some really cool stuff coming out that's a little bit different. We just had this Mark Hul Hul Hule Hul. I say Hule. It's not Hule. It's not Hule. We got Matthias Tansman coming on the label for the first time. We got a cool Miami compilation around our big old party in Miami at Space. A bunch of other cool stuff. A Claude Von Stroke record with a collaboration with Eddie M. Guy from El Row. We are all literally, I'm not even joking, is this street right here in front of the park, rolling on the street, thinking of fake European techno DJ names, like on our backs in the street. And I was like, Clavon Shoke. And all the girls were like, ah! 
And I was like, oh, that sounds funny. <laughs> and then Nicole put it on her birthday party flyer the next week, which is at the tunnel top, and I DJ'd her birthday's club on stroke. And then I changed the record name. The record was Barkley Crenshaw Deep Throat on Rook Records, and it went changed to Claude Von Stroke Deep Throat on Dirty Bird. This is it. This is the front, and then you would have to go through the two doors, and then my studio was in the back. Everything's in one room, kitchen, bed, everything. Me and Fernando hand-stamped all the first promos on the floor, and, and we would play The Simpsons and Nintendo game. It's weird that I just remembered that yeah, part. That is, that is. <laughs> my friend Anthony shot the very first music video on Dirty Bird, my very first music video. We shot it on Super 16 film in this laundromat with my nephew Vinsel. You can check out the video online, it's still up. And then Andy's mouth is superimposed on the turkey and goes, What are you having for dinner? I'm working on making everyone else famous. Right. So now, maybe I'll be famous. For sure. <laughs> I'll put this up in my bedroom. <laughs> You're like, Darren Sinus, dude. Yeah, it could be worth something. Darren. Toilet Darren, paper. Darren. 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 Like a Nobody went with the cheer. I'm not famous I enough I thought you yet. guys were going to go in on it with me. Darren. 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 I feel famous now. We did our job. That was it. Back when I lived on Lower Haight, I would go to Upper Playground like once a week and get some kind of t-shirt or some, or just look around. And a lot of the designs are by Jeremy Fish and he basically got me into pop surrealism. So yeah, so this is neat, right? This is so check, cool. super check cool. Check this out though. Oh, it's better. Way better. <laughs> Holy oh. shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. For now, it's just a nice place to work and a cool place for me to get out of my current studio and take a break from work. This is great. I mean. That was I worked with a professional sculptor to make the mold for the big bronze statue in the Hay. The original one had like homeless people living above it and people, <laughs> they were using it as a ladder to get in and out of this like oh, wow. crack den that was like up above it. People were using it as a toilet, like it had human feces all oh. over it. It had spiders living in it. Oh, oh, it got lit on fire at one point. So they were like, we should preserve it. And I was like, you should eat yeah. I made it, I paid for that, I mounted it there and I almost got in trouble for it and they raised all this money to make a permanent one up the block, so f off, it's mine, we're gonna kill it. <laughs> Our show sucks. You got some work to do. Mostly these guys suck, but in general, our show sucks. <laughs> Where's that fing intern? It's always the intern's fault. What's that guy's name again? Get over here, whatever your name is. <laughs> I can't, how did you f up that Facebook meeting? What do you mean? Is he being serious? Oh my god. Oh dude. Just get out of here. Thank God for YouTube, right? <sighs> we made it! <laughs> you can't even control your laughter? <laughs> we have the worst film crew. <laughs> You guys should all wear muffles. Like dog muffles? What so, are those things called? Oh, muzzles. Muzzles. Yes. Muffles. <laughs> you guys are f***ing muggles and I'm a wizard. Has, 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 has Q-Tip ever wore a muzzle? Tricky Patronus! Expecto Patronus! <laughs> what happened you f***ing muggles? <laughs> Bow down! <laughs> if a cow says moo, what does a moose say? <laughs>